Women were out in force during protests throughout the Arab Spring. Among other things, they were hoping for more rights. Now a new poll by Thomson Reuters Foundation shows that women could be the biggest losers after the revolution. The survey shows that Egypt is topping the list as the worst when it comes to women's human rights, followed by Iraq and Saudi Arabia. The top three were Comoros, Oman, and Kuwait. Joining me now from our CNN London bureau is Monique Villa. She is the CEO of Thomson Reuters Foundation, the organization behind the poll. All right, so using the survey as a guide, what kinds of issues are women facing more now than they were before the upheavals? Well, they, 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 <clears throat> they face very new issues because what, what is really striking in this poll is that the women that have fought shoulder to shoulder with the men three years ago, almost three years ago, uh, for the Arab Spring, have now lost a lot of their dignity, a lot of their power, and a lot of their voices. And this is why Egypt, to the general surprise, really, has come worse of all countries followed by Iraq, which was before the American invasion of the country in 2003, 10 years ago, at the avant-garde for women's rights. And it's... Uh, sorry? Let, let, uh, uh, let me ask so... you this. Please? Go ahead. No, 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 no. And, and, and so what, what this, what this polls show, uh, show very clearly is that the picture for the women's rights in the Arab world is very grim. And even Tunisia, who was among the first uh, countries in the Arab world for women's rights, as, uh, as before the Arab Spring, has gone under because today it is behind Oman and Kuwait and Jordan. So it's, it's a very surprising poll, and it is a photography of the women's rights in the Arab world today by gender experts and a number of gender experts in the whole region. Uh, let me ask you why you think, or did the survey speak to this at all, why you think the women's rights have deteriorated in some of the places that we're fighting for um, more equality and for democracy? Well, it has deteriorated essentially because of the rise of radicalism, the rise of violence, and viol violence which in total impunity, that, that is to say that a man who in Egypt rape a woman is not arrested, is not condemned. So the rise of violence has been considerable in a country which was a very pacific country, Egypt. And, and today, uh, a woman fight for everything and they, and 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 you know they have been just facts like 91 rape on Tahrir Square in July to 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 silent women and this is these are numbers from a uh, human rights watch or uh, uh, harassment uh, according to the UN now reaches 99% of women in Egypt so this is very grim in Iraq you have uh, 1.6 million widows which cannot find a job. And so in these countries, when you cannot find a job, it, it is very difficult to survive and to have your children surviving. So, when, uh, so all these facts show how difficult a revolution is. And, you know, I am French, and if I remember that the, the, uh, the French Revolution in 1789 was followed by years of violence and at some point of terror uh, before we could find stability. So there is nothing totally surprising in that. But it's the radicalization, the, the violence, the, the, I mean the Islam radicalization, uh, the violence that is absolutely not punished, uh, and, and displacements that has made things much worse for women. And women were better off under Mubarak than today. It's unbelievable when you think of what happened almost three years ago on Tahrir Square. Monique, this sounds not just like a government issue, that policies are set or, for example, as you mentioned, that things are not prosecuted, um, such as rape or sexual assault, but also a societal issue. It doesn't sound like this is just something that the government has to do something about, but it sounds like it's something that's happening in society, society as well. Is that what the survey is basically telling us? Yeah, because, because what we ask, the questions we ask to the respondent of our, of our poll, and we are all gender specialists, doctors, uh, uh, lawyers, journalists, uh, NGOs in each of these countries, 